Kathy, and I'm going to share some realizations that I've had with regards to love because this is love month at Destiny Universe so keep an eye open and uh, have a look for some of the love videos by um, Destonians. I wrote a blog just recently called Love is a Battlefield and one of the reasons that I wrote that was because a friend of mine that I had years ago called me recently um, to tell me that she was sorry. And I was like, you're sorry? She said, yeah, I'm sorry because I used to make fun of you a couple years ago that saying that you were in a cult and all the stuff that you talked about, about an equal money system, and about um, that love wasn't real, and that love was just an energy, and she said, and I didn't tell you to your face, I didn't tell you over the phone, I didn't tell you then what I was actually thinking, which was that um, you were involved in a cult, and and she said, and I'm sorry, because I actually made fun of you. And this wasn't really surprising to me, though. I hadn't really considered that she was. We just don't really talk that, that much anymore. But what her point in calling was to share with me how she had realized that love is a battlefield. That she in her marriage has been controlled through money and that she she has her own house um, it's just a house that was uh, given to her through a death so it's it's pretty much paid for she has to pay a few taxes and electricity and so forth but basically the only way she's able to afford to live in the house that's hers is because her husband works and provides the money to pay the utilities and to provide the food and so forth and he has become extremely controlling with money and she said that she realized that no one really cares about anyone and that it's really everything really is about money loves about money hates about money and within all that is fear and though it's really difficult at first to see yourself in others and to realize that everything that you experience to and towards another by way of whether it's love or hate or rejection or fear jealousy that it's always only according to the experience that you're having within yourself with regard to yourself and your relationship with yourself and the thing is is this is exactly how equal money would assist every woman man and child in this world an animal and plant and our earth because no longer would we have to feel like we're controlled or be the controlling one we would no longer feel fear of being left alone as a woman I can speak for that point because physical abuse 
and mental abuse are basically in themselves one and the same. Obviously, physical abuse can um, escalate to more to a life or death situation, but in fact, so can mental abuse. And so, imagine a world where every woman and child can have their own home and have their own money to buy food and an education and health care and a car to drive and clean clothes to wear and clean water to drink. And imagine the freedom within self-expression, within releasing fears that would come with that. We are only actually seeking for a relationship and intimacy with ourselves. And everything else is here for us to see ourselves within it and as it. And because we're just reflecting off of each other. So it's it's like a realization as well but within seeing what the love-hate polarity you can see that battlefield within yourself if you've ever just been in that crazy first stage of falling in love and that energy within it and then fast forward to however long it took for that particular relationship to end and then you see yourself on the opposite side of that polarity as hate and you never consider what it has done to you within your physical body that manifests on the outside of your physical body and you literally manifest and form and shape who you are and who our physical world is accordingly and there's where the battlefield is it's within ourselves it's within our minds it's within our feelings and our emotions love is not a feeling love is not an emotion love is self existing according to what is best for all because only when life is actually experienced according to what's best for all where all living beings are represented with the ability to experience their life in dignity will we then actually be able to see for ourselves what real love is and until then we are not going to be able to it's just not possible that is how I begin to realize that love is a battlefield and it doesn't even have to be so investigate equal money and investigate destiny I process and investigate destiny universe and begin to walk the journey of life seven-year process with us begin blogging and vlogging and see who you are we'll be seeing you thanks Love follows sorrow What brings tomorrow When I love you I start to feel It's only me, but it's only